feel like it just gets you out of your comfort zone too. And I think the comfort zone is like the most, the worst place to be in. Like, I feel like a lot of society or a lot of people think that what they ultimately want is to be, you know, comfortable when in reality, I think that's the worst way to live. Like I see people who are just too comfortable and they think they're, or they, they think that's going to make them happy. But I know for a fact, when I got comfortable, even just a little bit, I was, I hated it. It was terrible. Like I wasn't, I wasn't me. Now I'm, I'm more uncomfortable than I've been in a long time. And I'm just like more creative. I have more energy. Um, and I feel like travel kind of brings that, brings that out of me in a way. Yeah. We've talked a lot about the complacency and comfortableness. It just, uh, it, it's it suck you in and you think you like it. And I say, like you're saying it, it can r- quickly turn haywire. I know when I got complacent and very stuff like that, things just start falling apart. Things are like, just things are just not occurring the way they were before. And it's like, what the hell's going on? Like <laughs> I'm not moving anymore. So I get that. Yeah. Um, and honestly, a lot of it's willpower, but recently I've made a new rule to myself. Like I'm not allowed to get comfortable. Like even if it's just day to day, like when I'm at home and if I feel like I, this might be like, a little too extreme but if i feel like i don't deserve to watch even netflix i don't watch it anymore like i i feel like even that's too far like i want to like make sure that at all times i'm getting out of my comfort zone like what could i be doing right now to like grow and and reach new heights so yeah it's amazing it's an amazing mindset to have there's there's nothing wrong with that as a matter of fact i think more yeah. people need it because it's so easy for them to get in that i'm gonna watch netflix and my life sucks and blah, blah, blah. And yeah, instead, you could look yeah. at it the other way and go, I'm doing one thing today to get myself out of this mindset and get into a new mindset. And then slowly but surely, you're in this new, happy life that just came out of nowhere. And it's only because you have put in the work on yourself. I, I, exactly. I, I, I cannot stress that enough to people on how important it is to work on yourself, especially in times of hardship. It's like it's so easy to distract yourself with Netflix, going out drinking, drugs, person, people, whatever. It's so easy, but at the end of the day, there's only you. There's only you that can help you. And if you're not seeking that help and you're not trying to do that help, you're just shoving those issues aside. And yeah, and and, and honestly, man, the payoff, the payoff for getting out of your comfort zone, whatever that might be for whoever, um, is amazing. Like you just you become more you, and you you become more. At least for me, you become more social. You become uh, more creative. And life just becomes a whole lot easier. Like all that anxiety that you might have and stuff, like it it goes away. You figure things out. And yeah, I mean, if I looked at myself a year ago, I feel like I'm, you know, constantly growing. And and I think part of it is just staying out of my comfort zone. Man, I don't even want to 